Hello, welcome to the vocabulary audio for the nudist lesson. Let's get started with the vocabulary. Neighbors get an eyeful when nudist steps outside. Let's talk about an eyeful. To get an eyeful means to see a lot, right? I mean, it fills your eyes. So you say, wow, that was an eyeful, or I got an eyeful. It means you saw a lot, a lot of something. In this case, a lot of somebody's body. Uh, and then it talks about when the nudist steps outside. Nude, N-U-D-E, means without clothes, right? No clothes, naked. Nude and naked are similar. But a nudist is a person who does not wear clothes. And it's a, we can also use it as an adjective. For example, a nudist beach is a beach for people who don't wear clothes. You go to the nudist beach and nobody's wearing clothes. Sometimes we'll also say a nude beach. So a nudist is a person who does not wear clothes. All right. And then uh, she says um, in the letter, Dear Abby, we have a male neighbor I call Flash. Flash is slang for somebody who is nude, who does not wear clothes, that you know, runs around very fast. They run around without clothes. So this is their funny nickname for their neighbor, the guy who lives near them. And he frequently, he often walks outside to get his newspaper or go to the, uh, get the mail, or retrieve something from his car. To retrieve means to get something and bring it back. So if he retrieves something from his car, it means he goes to his car, he gets something from the car, and he brings it back inside the house. Sometimes we talk about dogs. Dogs will retrieve, right? You throw a stick, the dog runs, gets the stick, and brings the stick back to you. That's retrieve or retrieving, to retrieve. Okay, so this guy retrieves something from his car and he's naked. He's naked when he does this. He's nude or naked. Nude and naked have the same meaning. They mean no clothes. So this guy's naked. He goes to his, cl uh, his car, he goes to the mailbox, but he's naked. He's nude, no clothes. Okay, and um, she says that, you know, many people in the neighborhood, especially women, they don't uh, like to look at his house because they're afraid, right? They're afraid that if they look, they will see him in the buff. In the buff. In the buff is slang. Uh, it means naked. It's another way to say naked or nude, no clothes. In the buff. He is in the buff means he is naked. He has no clothes. In the buff. In the buff. Okay, so this guy's always in the buff. He doesn't have clothes on, right? And he'll be in the buff standing at his door or standing in front of his window or walking outside in front of his house. And she says, uh, Flash, her nickname, this guy, Flash, he's uh, basically likable. He's a nice guy. Likable means easy to like, friendly. And he's generally, uh, he's generally a helpful guy. And she says, uh, we hesitate to say anything. To hesitate. To hesitate means to wait to do something. It means you want to do something. You're, you are planning to do something, but you wait first. You, you, you're not sure, so you wait. So they want to say something to this man. They want to say something to flash, but then they stop. Oh, maybe we shouldn't, right? They think and, oh, I don't know, maybe should we say something? Should we not? They hesitate. They wait to say something. She says they don't want to destroy their friendship, their relationship with him. So that's why they hesitate. That's why they're waiting. Uh, that's why they don't take action. Okay, she said in her city, She's from Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is a liberal city, a college city, and the capital of Texas. It's probably the only liberal city in Texas. <laughs> um, but anyway, she said in their city, in Austin, it's not against the law to be a nudist. So if you are someone who likes to be naked in Austin, it's okay. The police will not grab you. You can walk around your house. You can walk around your yard outside your house. Nude, naked, in the buff. Okay, 
And also, women can go topless in public in Austin. A woman can take off her shirt and walk around Austin, Texas, uh, no problem. So, they can't call the police. It's not a possibility. The police won't do anything. She says, however, to see a fella streak to his car is surprising and unsettling. All right, fella, fella means guy, right? G-U-I or man. A fella. It's kind of an old word, really. For, for Not many people say fella anymore. Uh, you might have heard the, the movie Good Fellas, right? It means good guys or good men. So fella means man or guy, fella. But it's an old word, maybe a 1950s word. Okay, and then the verb, to streak. She says, to see a fella streak to his car. To streak means to run naked, to run nude, to run naked. So you have no clothes, and then you run across the, the street, or you run somewhere. So you're running, and you're in the buff. You're running, and you're naked. That's called streaking, or to streak. The verb is to streak. And she says, this is unsettling. Unsettling. Unsettling means uh, something that upsets you, something that makes you maybe angry or maybe sad or maybe shocked and surprised. The emotion is called unsettled, E-D, right? You say, I feel unsettled. It means you feel a little strange, you feel a little nervous maybe, you feel a little bit wrong, a little upset. It's not a strong word. If you say, I feel unsettled, it's not strong. It's weaker than upset. Upset is strong. I'm upset means you feel strong emotion. If you say, I feel unsettled, it means you feel a little wrong, but it's not too strong. It's not, not, not very strong. Okay. And then she says, in the normal course of things, in the normal course of things, that's a common phrase. It means... Uh, in normal life, in normal daily life, in the normal course of things. Uh, he, Flash, this neighbor, he may be spotted in the nude once a week. To be spotted means to be seen, right? To spot, the verb to spot means to see something. Usually it means to see something that is hard to find, right? It means you're looking and finally, ah! I see it. Ah, I spot it. Right? So we use spot when something is difficult to find or maybe you uh, don't want to see it. In this case, you don't want to see it. So she says she spots him in the nude once a week. She sees him in the nude uh, or in the buff once a week. She says, uh, I'm sure this happens more, but luckily, thankfully, our paths don't cross more than once a week. Okay, if you say, our paths don't cross, it means we don't meet each other. The phrase, to cross paths, path, a path is like a road, right? It's a road for walking. So if you say, to cross paths means to meet another person, right? You're walking on a little road, they're walking on a little road, and your roads cross each other, so you meet each other. So it's kind of an idiom, to cross paths means to meet somebody. Usually, it's to meet somebody suddenly. It's similar to um, to bump into, right? I, I bumped into her yesterday. It means you met somebody yesterday. You were not planning to meet them, but by accident. Oh, you met them. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi, how are you? It's the same. You could say, uh, we crossed paths yesterday, right? We crossed paths yesterday. We met each other yesterday. Okay, she says this happens once a week. She crossed paths with the naked guy once a week. She sees him once a week. And then finally, she uh, asks Abby, is this something we should be worried about, concerned about? To be concerned means to be worried. Concerned means worried. And finally, she signs her name. She signs it startled in Austin, Texas. Startled means surprised or shocked. Sometimes both ideas, surprised and shocked. Startled. So if I if I, ah! if I shout suddenly, right, I startled you. I can use it as a verb. I startled you. I startle you. It means I surprise you. It can also be an emotion. You can say, I was startled, right? Uh, or he made me feel startled. 
So it can be a feeling, so you say startled, an emotion, an adjective, or it can be a verb, he startled me, he surprised me. All right, that is all for the vocabulary for the nudist lesson. Go on now to the mini story. See you next time. Bye-bye.